Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello and uh, yay I made another video. So as you can see I've learned to use a camera this time. I've also decided to shoot during the daytime which is a great uh, pro tip that I that I found out about. I also found out that you uh, you should like usually for these kinds of videos you should like you know you put a bunch of random objects in your background so that it looks like you you know you have your life put together and that you have taste and interests and such. So here, all the random objects that I could find in my room. Yay, fun. And I've also decided to wear uh, going outside clothes even though I'm inside my room. So I can look nice. Um, and yes, why do we need more lesbian representation in India? Because there's not enough. Like it's just not there. And if it is there, it's not very good. So that's why we need more. And now this is a topic that is very near and uh, dear to my heart because as a lesbian, as a, uh, a queer woman, um, I tend to spend a lot of my free time and not so free time looking for other queer women. Now you can ask any queer woman, this is probably their number one hobby. So yeah, that's just what we do. And we're not lucky very often, you know, it's a very, very difficult uh, task to take up. And, uh, I've gone, I've gone everywhere, you know, I've, I've looked in a lot of places for the queer uh, women. You know, I've gone on Facebook. <laughs> That's a lie. No one goes on Facebook. I've gone on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, all those fun places. And well, I do find some queer women, rarely, sometimes, if, you know, the full moon is out and God knows what else. But usually, especially in real life, it never happens. Now my second favorite hobby is going outside on the road and looking at everyone and wondering if they're queer. I'm very rarely right and they very rarely are. And I feel like uh, even though we are such a huge community, I have no doubt about that. Our media does not tend to represent that very well. If there is a queer person being represented, it's usually not done very well at all. A lot of the common representation of lesbians tends to be extremely creepy and perverted. Like go on YouTube and search for Indian lesbian. The first thing you're gonna get is a bunch of extremely creepy, perverted and bordering on softcore porn videos of women. And uh, yeah, like I honestly don't know why people are even watching porn on YouTube. Like literally just get like a proxy server and, and go watch it somewhere else. The next thing you get is you know, some of these street interviews where, you know, someone goes up to a random person on the street with a mic like, hmm, what do you think of a homosexuality? And that person is like, hey, it's fine, it's just not for me, you know, it's, uh, but it's okay, you know, if you want to do. Like, no, you don't, you don't get to discuss my sexuality like it's the weather. It's raining, man. Now, this lack of representation is honestly an extremely dangerous thing because imagine, like, Someone young, like a 12 year old girl, sitting in a room on her phone. The story of my life. And uh, lately, she thinks that she has a crush on her best friend, who happens to be a girl. And she's pretty confused about that because she's never heard of anyone or met anyone who is even remotely like that. So she's wondering, like, what's up? What's going on? So maybe she decides to search for words like, lesbian or queer or gay on YouTube or Google and the first things that she's gonna get are a bunch of extremely perverted and inappropriate videos and a bunch of people dissing on homosexuality or having very lukewarm opinions about it. Boo! Lesbian representation in media and I do mean most media not just Indian media it tends to be done as more of clickbait you know, like uh, these are two women, they like each other and now they're going to kiss and you will see that as the thumbnail of our video. Or it tends to be a plot device, you know, this person uh, was married to man, she got bored and she found one lady to go have some very awkward sex scene with. <coughs> or uh, this person was gay and uh, they died. 
or maybe like this media house is very like up and coming and youthful and very diverse so they end up having some queer people in their web series and while that is very admirable effort it's not done very well because most of the time i don't think the directors are queer or have much idea about the depth of emotion and feeling and thought that goes into uh, scenes like that and the actresses who play queer women on screen tend to usually not be very good at it you know i have more chemistry with my collection of played shirts than those two women have on screen with each other it is literally the most awkward thing watching it sometimes you know they just be fumbling around with each other and you know i'd honestly rather them just have a pillow fight and just cuddle and go to sleep because it's more realistic than watching them try to kiss or look at each other romantically or anything because i don't think they get it they they really don't queer women are very rarely played by actual genuine queer people there are of course some amazing series and content that's come out that is that is that feels very genuine and authentic because the people on board have been people who identify or understand those situations a lot better we need more representation because as a queer woman i am starved for it a lot of the time we're forced to accept like these crumbs like there have been times where i've watched entire movies that were so so bad and i would not have watched them under any circumstance but because i had read somewhere that there was going to be a lesbian couple there or you know there's a queer woman in that show or that movie i end up watching it now don't get me wrong i appreciate it so deeply that this content is even out there but there's millions of queer indians and we deserve tons of content we need more representation because honestly if i hear the word lesbian in an indian accent i sort of cringe internally because it's just something that i so rarely do hear and when i do hear it out loud it usually tends to be in this very awkward and negative sort of connotation when i see two indian women who are like romantically inclined towards each other in a web series or a movie or something i actually get a little bit awkward out because something that is so intrinsically me is so rarely portrayed on screen that it actually ends up feeling foreign to me we need more representation because i'm honestly so tired of seeing straight people everywhere like we get it you're straight move on Shh. you know i think the reason why i've not found a lot of queer people is because i didn't do an arts course in a liberal arts college damn it we need more representation because that example of that 12 year old girl is me and i'm sure that it's a lot of other people out there as well not just who are 12 who are maybe 12 or 20 or 30 or whatever but we rarely get to see ourselves on screen and that's just not fair there are a lot of queer content creators on youtube but not a lot of them tend to be indian or brown there are some people who are putting amazing content out there and i'm so grateful to them because you know seeing yourself and identifying with someone on screen makes such a huge difference to you you just feel so validated like nothing else so that's what this channel is for it's to add in some more genuine authentic lesbian representation and i think i qualify for that pretty well you know i'm pretty indian and as for the lesbian part you know hello hope you guys like that video if there's any indian queer content out there that you guys actually really like please tell me about it so i can also watch it and enjoy it or read it or consume it in any fashion it must be consumed so thank you so much for watching this video uh, please uh, like and share and subscribe and all of those things okay bye